I was last week in Dublin city center and saw this very gorgeous cake which had a lot of strawberry mousse and then a little bit of pastry dough. And I checked its name and it's called a Charlotte. Can you really imagine to call a cake a name like Charlotte? The odd moments you're gonna get in, you're gonna go somewhere and say, I really enjoy eating Charlotte. It could even get worse. Let's say you just went to the family butcher and you're telling your friend of like, you know, I went to the family butcher and now could I have a piece of Charlotte? I mean, come on, seriously? It is though a very nice cake. And I'm gonna bake today such a delicious gluten-free Charlotte cake that it will fool everyone to think it's the real deal. Now, what is a Charlotte cake? I never knew what is a Charlotte cake. So a Charlotte is a trifle. It's a British invention. Well, the British claim that the Charlotte cake was really made out of old stale bread. Hmm, tempting, right? And then added with fruit jams and other things with it. Uh, since then though, we have made some improvements and there are different Charlotte recipes. I'm gonna make my Charlotte with the lady fingers and a vanilla sponge cake because I wanna have the opposite of textures. I want the crunchiness of the lady fingers and the softness of the sponge cake, and then certainly the creaminess of the filling. To get started on the Charlotte cake, I'm gonna use my vanilla sponge cake recipe and the lady fingers I created last week. And the first thing I have to do is assemble them. For that, I'm gonna place my pre-baked sponge cake and I have the recipe in my sponge cake series on a cake bottom and place a cake ring around it. And I'm thinking, I probably have to put the lady fingers around the sponge cake and then pour my mousse into it. So this seems to be a little bit unstable, so let's reverse the idea. And I'm gonna pour first the strawberry mousse, let it settle, and then add the lady fingers at the end. That's probably how they're meant to do it, but hey, live and learn. To stabilize my strawberry mousse, I'm gonna use gelatin. And to start and set up my gelatin, I'm gonna pour first half a cup of water into my pot. And I'm gonna sprinkle one package of gelatin over the cold water. And I'm gonna set it aside so the gelatin can soak up all the water. And that takes about five minutes. You can see how nicely the gelatin has absorbed the water. And the only thing I have to do is now heat it up I need to make sure I don't bring it to a boiling or simmering point because then I pretty much destroy the gelatin. And, and if you want to learn more about gelatin, check out my Black Forest cake. So I'm going to put the stove on low heat when I'm dissolving the gelatin. And you can see how it bubbles up a little bit anymore. But you can also, when I swivel the pot, you can see there are barely any granules left. So the gelatin is pretty good now. And while the gelatin is cooling down, I'm going to start beating my whipped cream. You can do this all with a handheld mixer, but I prefer to use my stand mixer because it just makes it easier. So I'm going to pour in almost 500 milliliters. I'm going to probably try to keep a quarter cup, which is about 50 milliliters. And on a low setting, I'm going to start whisking the heavy cream. The heavy cream reached a soft peak and I'm going to add now the sugar. I'm going to continue whipping the heavy cream and I'm going to add now the strawberry puree and I'm showing you how I'm making the strawberry puree in my Royal Charlotte cake recipe. Sometimes I find it faster to just quick use my spatula to mix the strawberries in. On times in a stand mixer the heavy cream or the butter gets stuck to the bottom so with a spatula I can loosen that up a little bit. I'm going to quick check the flavor. I may need more sugar depending how ripe the strawberries were. The sugar is right on. I'm going to add one teaspoon of my homemade vanilla extract. I started making my own vanilla extract because I went through so much. But commercially store-bought ones are going to be a bit more intense, so adjust it a little bit to your flavor. So I'm checking my gelatin and it has cooled down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add now the rest of my heavy cream to the gelatin to reduce the temperature even more so. Ideally, the gelatin and the heavy cream have the same temperature as the mousse. That will prevent the gelatin to form clumps in the mousse. So now I'm gonna add the gelatin with the heavy cream to the mousse. I'm gonna quick use a whisk to combine it. So I'm gonna pour the mousse now, and I'm gonna shake it a little bit to get it to level out. Here we go. And now I'm gonna let the mousse sit. So now I'm gonna transfer the mousse either in the freezer for like 10, 20, 30 minutes until the gelatin has set. 
but keep an eye on it if you put it in a freezer because you don't really want to make strawberry mousse frozen ice cream cake. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for 3-4 hours while I'm going for a walk and then when I come back I'm gonna add the lady fingers. I just took out the cake out of the fridge and now with my cake knife I'm gonna carefully release the cake from the cake ring and carefully take the ring off the cake. The mousse is nicely set and I'm gonna start now adding the lady fingers and oh my god this is so much easier than trying to put in the lady fingers and then pouring the mousse. I have here also some fresh strawberries which I would like to use for decoration. So I'm gonna stem them but they're really big. I mean they're almost too big for decoration so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm gonna slice them. I'm gonna start decorating with them. Now I'm just missing the whipped cream to finish up the cake. I'm also gonna prep some gelatin for my heavy whipped cream which I'm gonna use for decoration. You really don't have to do it if you're gonna plan on serving the cake the same day but I'm gonna bring it over to some friends and I don't know if they're gonna eat it all today and our whipped cream here in Ireland what I notice is that it doesn't really help to have some gelatin in it to keep its form. I'm gonna whip now a little bit of heavy cream for my decoration. I'm gonna measure about a cup which will be a little bit too much and I'm gonna whisk my heavy cream with my handheld mixer and add the gelatin. Now I have my whipped cream and you can see how much stiffer it is than my mousse. It doesn't move anymore in the drawer and that's how stiff I want it to be so I can easily pipe it. Now a small little trick. I'm going to check which lady fingers are a little bit loose and if so I'm going to add a little bit of whipped cream to glue it to the cake. I'm getting ready to do the final decoration on my cake and I'm going to fill some of the heavy cream into a piping bag to pipe some rosettes. I'm going to start piping the rosettes at the edge of the cake and work my way around it. I grabbed also some mint leaves for final decoration. So here's my strawberry charlotte. I am ready for summer and to bite into this deliciousness. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and are curious to learn much more about gluten-free baking. And if so, subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have a great recipe which you would like me to try out to make gluten-free, please share it below in the comment box. And I'm happy to try it out and see what I can come up with. And I'll see you next week. Bye!